Hi, welcome to another edition of the podcast. I'm Ed Clements with Senior Sergeant Sam Cox. Sam, an alleged good Samaritan this week, thought he was doing a good deed by stopping a guy who stole the car, but I think the guy went too far because he killed the guy who stole the car. Hey, that's uh, if you got a complaint, go to OSHA. It's a, it's a hazardous job, you know, when you're a thief. But to kill a guy over a stolen car, was that guy went too far, Sam. It wasn't and, intentional. was not intentional. What the, you know, tell him the story, Ed. I mean, look, the guy stole a pizza delivery car. Yes, he did. And he ran the guy down. And the guy got out of the car and started running, got into a big fisticuff with him, a big brawl, so he brought out the hammer and ding ding. But the police and I believe the same thing. Yeah, he chased him. The guy jumped out of the stolen car, so the stolen car was there. Why did he have to go chase the guy down and ultimately kill the guy? Well, the same reason a police officer would chase you down. People don't realize that uh, under the Texas Penal Code, citizens have the right to an effect an arrest. And when you look under the the uh, necessary force to an effect arrest, it's the necessary force that you use to put this man under control. Now, he thought, and he did, put his elbow on the guy's throat. <coughs> Right. Yeah. Which, you know, not a bad idea in some cases, Ed. <laughs> Don't look at me that way. <laughs> well, all I can tell you is that the guy did not intentionally kill him. So that's why they file uh, manslaughter on him. And I think it's a travesty. I really do. Oh, but then everybody starts screaming, he's got a record. He's got a record. The well, guy both that guys did the have kill, records. Both of them both have of a record. Records. But you know what? That does not come into play. You have to treat each in every situation situation on its own merit. Now, Sam in Dallas, the family of the dead man who had Ebola, they're talking like they want to get some money from the hospital. Oh, I think that's a bad deal. I think the guy was treated as best he could, and I don't buy this thing that they say because he was black, he got less treatment. Well, you know, you got to say, actually, he's the one that is at fault because he didn't tell them, really, he should have been screaming, I think I have Ebola, I think I have Ebola. You know, they were totally unprepared. You're on a busy night. You, you come into an ER. There's other people there besides mm-hmm. him. They kept him for four and a half hours and treated him, and they weren't protected. He's the bad guy. I think there were mistakes by, by both. I think you're right. The man should have said, hey, I'm coming from Liberia. I've, I've been exposed to Ebola, but conversely, the hospital, when he, if, if he would have even said, I'm from Liberia, the red well, light should have gone said, off. They said that he did say mm, that. Oh, boy, the hospital dropped the ball on that well, end of it. You know, not necessarily. Uh, but it, it, It's like they've never had a case before. Nobody's ever walked in with it. He had flu-like symptom, symptoms, and they thought it was a virus, and like he was throwing up and had yep. diarrhea. Thanks for listening. That's another edition of the podcast. Listen to us every morning, 530 to 10, on News Radio KLBJ and FM 99.7. For Sam Cox, I'm Ed Clements. Have a great day. Yay.